Hi there, Mike. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to do another video for our case study series for our new website. No problem. That's okay. I will ask you a, a, a few questions just about apprenticeships, the local economy, young people, and such like. We shall start the first question. Okay. Question number one. Why do you think employing young people is important to the local economy? It's the lifeblood of the local economy. Without businesses supporting and young people by employing them, training them, there will be no business in the future. Without the effort put in by businesses now, how do they expect to continue to grow their businesses, develop their businesses and have longevity of life if there's no young people coming through? That's a very good answer. Thank you for that one. And what's your personal opinion on apprenticeships? Do you think they work? I think so. I don't have any real case study to follow yep. on that one. It's just something that I kind of look at from the outside. It's not something that, that we can offer at this point in time. But I think, you know, we have to get young people involved and an, uh, if an apprenticeship subsidises their training and helps a business to take on apprentices, then it's a no-brainer. That's, that's a good opinion, Tap. And what was your first job this is like your first proper like job on a payroll or proper <laughs> paid job not not a job like your mate's uncle's dad got you your first like proper job my first assets. proper job i remember it well i was training to be a civil engineer employed by robert mac sir robert macalpines mm -hmm. um i kind of found out fairly quickly that it wasn't for me um but yeah, still sort of some fond memories of up to my neck in mud. Oh, nice. Um, what did you do after that? Um, I got a job as a management trainee with what was then an electricity board, the South Western Electricity okay. Board. Um, I did a two-year training program mm -hmm. with them. After about 18 months, they had decided that my talents lay in the commercial side of the business rather than the distribution side of the business. So they sent me off to run a couple of shops and then a couple more shops and then I left. I see, I can see where your experience of this, this place comes in then from what you've previously done. Well I've done, <clears throat> my hobby, my, my interest in life has always been water sports. Mm. Um, dinghy sailing, big boat racing, surfing, windsurfing are all things that I really was passionate about from a very young age. And um, whilst I took uh, various roles as a younger person, um, my opportunity to join the marine trade came back in about 1982 when a uh, a friend of mine rang me and said that the company she worked for just acquired a windsurfing company and they wanted somebody to run it in the mm -hmm. UK. Was I interested? So naturally I was yep, you were like, uh, excited by the prospect yep. and I've never been out of the water sports industry since. The water sports industry satisfies lots of goals for me, mm. business ones, competitive ones and let's face it, it's not like going to work. No, I it's, can imagine um, it's not. It's my hobby and my life all rolled into one thing, which mm. is great. That's a great, great answer and continuation of the question. Thank you very much. And what qualifications and training do you need for your current role? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a difficult question mm. to answer. Um, the qualifications I have really bear no resemblance to the role I have today. Yeah. Um, but I think to get a job in today's job marketplace, you do need to work hard and get some basic qualifications. Uh, I think for girl, we tend to look at degree edu educated people if we can for some of the roles that we have here. Um, you know, work hard, get some exam results, O levels, A levels, plan your future around those. It's okay. great to be out surfing every day, but. Don't, don't neglect the schoolwork. Mm, that's that's good. Um, positive attitude to have towards that. 
And what was what made you choose your role of crew? You've kind of touched on a little bit, as you said, it was your hobby. Yeah, it was my hobby. It was my passion. It was everything I wanted was to do with water sports. And then the opportunity to work in water sports, so extend my hobby, it all sounded great at the time. What you don't realise, and I didn't realise, there is an awful lot of hard work that goes into mm. it. You know, I spend many late nights and early mornings getting to places and from places. But actually, is it like going to work? Nah, not really. I don't have a problem getting out of bed and getting into the car or the van or to the office and doing my job because I enjoy it and I enjoy the people I interact with, you know, whether they're domestic customers, international customers, factories that we use in the Far East. It's just another conversation, another deal. Mm. That's great. One last question again, you've slightly touched on, but for somebody looking to get into your industry, water sports and maybe water sports clothing as such, what would you say would, would be the desirable skills and things you'd need to do? Depends what they want to do. Um, marketing and sales, get a marketing qualification, that's really important. If you want to be in the design and graphic side, then you need to have uh, a graphics degree, degree in, sorry, degree in graphic design yep. or a degree in clothing product yep. design. If you want to get in the sales side, it's really enthusiasm first and being prepared to take a chance. Mm. Um, there are sales roles out there, both in store and for brands on the road. And it's just a matter of convincing people like me that you are the guy for the, or girl for the job. Mm. That's right. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to sit down and do this case today. Pleasure. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi, Paddy. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to complete another case study in our new case study series for our website. Thank I'm you. just going to ask you a few questions just about the economy, young people and apprenticeships, so that's okay.